So welcome back to my office and welcome to the future. I think every single person who's watching my videos, you are nowhere near the time zone that I'm in right now. So hello from the future. I hope the past is treating you very, very well. There's no Daleks here. You're okay. I want to talk to you about uh, yesterday and some of the really cool things that's happened today. So yesterday we had the Captain Circle party, uh, which went really, really well. I enjoyed it. And after the Captain Circle party, I have a tradition with the uh, Captain Circle girl, her name is Layla, and we host this amazing party, and then we have a drink at the end to celebrate. We have a, a Diet Coke or two. But what made this party really cool yesterday is that it wasn't just me and Layla who went for the drinks. There were about five of us, and we were in the company of the really, really senior people on board this ship, which at first, was a little bit daunting because I've never had a drink with the staff captain before. The staff captain, by the way, is the second most important person on this ship. The captain runs the ship and the staff captain is his second, right? There's pretty much nobody more important than the staff captain other than the captain. So we're here drinking our Diet Coke with the staff captain and the people who run the entertainment department. And it was just really fresh to see these really important people outside of their really important jobs because sometimes you forget that these are just people yes they're very very important but the conversation was just normal conversation the same conversation i would have with a random bar steward or my cabin steward or you know my my, my friends down in the crew bar anyway it was so refreshing it maybe is the right word to, to 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 have that because i've never experienced the the senior officers outside of that senior role before um, so that was really, really enlightening. I really enjoyed that. And then we went down to our crew mess and we had some food and they had a sausage pie. How good does that sound? We had a sausage pie with more mushy peas. I don't know where the chef is getting mushy peas from in the middle of the South Pacific, but keep sourcing them, mate, because they're, they're really, really good. Um, and then we thought we'll continue our journey of Diet Coke and we went to the crew recreational area where a lot of us go to mingle after, after our hours. And again, the captain is there again, and all the other senior officers are there. And again, it was so cool to mingle and see these people outside of their super important, super busy jobs. End of the day, I am also a fairly senior officer. I don't know why I have this attitude of these people are so important, I don't want to bother them because they have got to drive the boat or something. I, I, I don't know why I have that mentality, but I don't really have it anymore. After witnessing, after experiencing these people just enjoying themselves, being people rather than being the big, scary, important people that they are. It was it was really, really nice. The vibe on this ship is so, so chilled out. I don't know what it is about this ship, but the vibe is just so, so relaxed. I don't know whether it's because it's a, a smaller ship, therefore less passengers, less crew. I don't know whether it's because it's a, a longer cruise and everything is spread out over four months rather than seven days like you usually get on a ship. I don't know. Maybe the leadership is just fantastic. There's no drama. Nothing's rushed. I just think the whole vibe of the ship is is is, is top notch. Um, I am really enjoying this contract. I've only been here three weeks. I feel like I've been here for three months, and I am thoroughly enjoying this contract. It can only get better. More news for you tomorrow on that. By the way, there's a lady on board the ship, and she's got a um, a little baby Yoda doll thing. It looks really good. Uh, and it, it makes noises and it moves and it's it's baby Yoda, it's super cute. And she takes this thing everywhere with her. And she's kind of like a celebrity with all the crew because everyone loves this little doll. Everyone's like, got up to the doll and just a pet. I mean, it's it's a doll, it's a literal doll, but people treat it like a little baby. Um, and there's photos of, of crew members with this doll everywhere and it's, it's so cool. Um, and she came to see me today. She came in to talk to me about a cruise today and we ended up talking for half an hour about Star Wars rather than um, the cruises. Uh, but she was so sweet and I think she'll uh, book something with us in a few days time. So that was amazing. We had a guy today who came in with a, uh, a world map like the one on the wall behind me. Um, and he wanted all of the crew members to sign it where they were from. That's such a cool idea. So if he's got a souvenir, um, I don't know how he's gonna get 900 signatures on board, that, uh, on board this little A5 printed out map, but the idea was really, really sweet. So uh, yeah, I scribbled over, uh, over Manchester for him. I also learned today that in Taronga, Auckland and Cairns, the island princess is docked with its sister ship, the Coral Princess. 
and my buddy is on there the guy who taught me everything i know about this future cruise job uh he is a guy called sly and sly is on the coral so i'm gonna go and see my buddy um in a few days time in um in auckland one last thing before i go as well uh, a few days ago we had a listing situation on board the ship so when a ship lists it basically goes from being straight up in the water to being on its side okay so things are a bit wonky and the ship's not supposed to do that end of the day it's a ship it will rock in the water so you're used to the ship rocking and you know going left and going right and going left and going right that's fine but a few days ago as we left samoa we were just on our side for quite a while we were waiting for it to right itself and it, it never came um and we were on our side for about 15 minutes so in the captain circle party the captain told us what all this was about and it's really really interesting um we apparently went straight into a storm a storm that the weather systems didn't pick up and we were hit uh broadside side on by a 90 knot gust of wind which took us completely by surprise which basically slapped us on the side of the ship which forced us to do the whole uh the whole list it was a five degree list now, there was no danger or anything no one got hurt there was no damage nothing like that happened i think some water fell out of the water fountain downstairs and the carpet got wet so it wasn't a particularly big deal it was just really really cool to um find out what that was because stuff like this really interests me and i think the guests were quite interested as well so i just thought i'd share that with you we got caught by a uh, 90 knot gust of wind which is about 100 miles an hour i think i think a knot is almost a mile an hour just a bit more i could be wrong i don't know so uh, i'm gonna go get some food tonight is the latin party we have a latin party downstairs tonight so i'm gonna go and do get my uh, get my salsa on absolutely not i'm gonna go and have a diet coke have some mushy peas and i'll see you tomorrow day at sea and then we're in new zealand